Hello everyone. Today I have Batsy Clare, one of the older dolls. She's in a box. She's from the brand Boo Students. There's an illustration of her. Side of the box, Batsy Clare. And back of the box. Okay. A really nice illustration of her. She's the daughter of the white vampire bat. Killer style. I take my fashion inspiration from the jungle around me, like the green of woven palm fronds and the right fright colours of orchids. Freaky floor. Ah, oh, I love freaky floors. I have a real hang up with monsters that choose to stay in the dark when it comes to protecting the world where we unlive. Read her full bio and diary inside. So they have diaries. And you can also get Kirsty and Easy. I have them as well. Already unboxed them though. Monster High logo. It's very cool to see one of these old boxes again. <laughs> I got it from Argos. So I'm just going to pop her out the box and we'll take a closer look. She is at the box, and wow, she's so pretty. She is beautiful. I will just show you her accessories. So she comes with the diary, which we haven't seen for a while. This diary belongs to Betsy Claro. I have a hang up about monsters reading my diary. It's got like a cobweb in the corner. Okay. Um, so it says about me, Betsy Claro, 17, daughter of the white vampire bat. Take my fashion inspiration. Oh, we read that, didn't we, on the back? Freaky floor, pet, perish the fort. Biggest pet peeve, what monsters want to take flora or fauna from the jungle back home with them and understand why they would wish to do so. But the best place for any plant or creature is its home. Again, it says BFFs. Venus and Jane. Put that on there. Oh. Favourite food, blood. Oranges. <laughs> here you go. June 1st. It has like a, a page here from her diary. I think this may be all we get because this is the international version. Oh. Sorry, it's a bit shiny. Hold up like that, maybe that'll be better. There we go. Okay, from Costa Shrieker. Um, I think that might be all we get. Yep, the rest is in other languages, but at least we get a little bit of information about her. It's more than we get with anyone's. Um, here is her bag. Very cute. It's all woven and it looks like it's got a bat on the front and that looks like bamboo. Look at that. And it opens, which is pretty cool. So and she comes with the brush and the stand. None of the new dolls come with stands, but this one does. So here she is. I have read on her hair slightly I I normally always leave them on but I snipped this off because it was in a really weird position and I really wanted this bit out because it's out on the illustration on the box so I wanted this little piece coming out over the top because I thought it looked nicer like that I turn around I did give her hair a brush as well so there you go. there's her grassy thing it had like little bits to keep it in her head but I moved it and it still sits fine. I think she actually looks better without it and I'll show you without it in a minute. So she has blonde, very platinum blonde hair and green streaks. It's really pretty and really soft and silky. It's lovely. I did give it a little brush and it's quite long and thick. It's got a little bit of a wave to it. And then she has these beautiful wings show you the wings before we show you anything else. Alright, so there's the wings. 
They're very cool. They come out the same as Rochelle's wings. I don't know if you can see, but they have a, a shine to them, which is the same as her skin. She has like a real sh glitter to her skin. A bit like the Boo York dolls. They're really big, cool wings, but you can take them out. Which is what I may do if I sit her on a shelf because she can't sit down with his wings because as you can see, they go okay, down there. So if you're going to sit her down, you're going to have to take the wings off. Um, here is a beautiful face. I'll show you her headpiece first. So she's got this little bat design, the same as what's on her bag. All these little details on it. And I don't know if it comes off of this. No, I think it's attached. Uh, and then this is really cool. It's like it's made of grass. It goes all the way around and it unclips there. And then she's so pretty. She's got such a pretty face. So, and look, there's her hairline. And she looks really pretty without that thing. And I'll show you properly in a minute. But she has all these markings on her face so a little bit at the top looks like a bat and then she's got all these dots and lines down her nose there's yellow pieces there and then her eyebrows look like grass she's got really big beautiful eyes really sleek looking um, yellow and green eyeshadow and then she has green and yellow lips like one and one she has little fangs, it's quite hard to see them because they're so, because, you know, the yellow. She's got these dots under her eyes, a bit like what Jane's got. It has a directly under her eyes and then she has this yellow paint on her cheeks. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. And then look, I don't know if you can see, but she's got really shimmery skin. And look at her little nose. She's got a little upturned nose. That's so cute profile is so pretty. I think she's beautiful this doll. I think a lot of people prefer the other two but I really like this doll. I think she's really pretty. Hair's a little bit messy I've been messing about with that but I'm sure it'll be fine. And then she has this same little bat symbol again on her ears. Um, she has like the bamboo type bit going on. I think it's bamboo. I might be saying it wrong. She's got them both sides and her ears are so cute if I can show you them. They're like all pointed. They look they look adorable. So cute. Little pointy ears. And then here is her outfit. She's got like a little ruffle and like the same woven pattern. And it's got like the clear straps on it. And then she has this little plasticky belty uh, bat thing. And then she's got these ruffly bits coming down off of it. And they're like shorts. Oh, she's got like an elastic band around there. Uh, I'll snip it off in a minute. But these, oh, these are shorts. I bet it's all in one. So it's all attached. But these are shorts. And they've got like um, the bat symbol on them again. And lots of other patterns as well. What are they? I don't know, but they're nice and colourful. Looks like it's all been stitched together. Like a bit of a patchwork. It looks like patchwork, but it's all different types of patterns. As you can see, like grassy things and yeah, grass there and leaves and it's really nice. As you, like, you can see her shiny legs again. I don't know if you can see the, the shimmer. She's really shimmery. She's like the Boo York. Looks the same as the Boo York skin. And then her shoes are really cool. So they've got like these woven, again, woven grass going all the way down. Woven grass again. And then look at the hills. They're amazing. All these grass pieces shooting out everywhere. At the back. Look at that. How cool is that? How do you walk in these things? <laughs> They're so cool. I love these shoes. She's really awesome. I'm just going to take a hat thing off and show you what she looks like without it. And I like 
and I'll snip that thing off. But I like putting some of her hair in front of her wings because I think it looks better. So I'll just show you what I what I think she'll look better like. It won't take me a minute. Here she is without the thing, and I've put some of her hair in front of her wings, which I think looks nicer because otherwise all you can see is the wings. When I first saw like a uh, picture of this doll in the Argos catalogue, I actually thought that. I thought she had like bones coming out of her head because all I could see was her wings. I couldn't see any hair in the front. To me it looked a bit strange until I actually saw her in person and then I realised, oh, it's her wings. It's not bones coming out of her head. She looked really strange to me because they go up so high. Oh, and by the way, these wings come out so easily. And I mean, I think it's really good that they come out because how annoying would it be <laughs> with these wings on there trying to brush her hair and everything um, but it's a bit annoying how easily they come out because they've come out loads of times and I've, I've got a hold in that so as you can see this thing just slips off over the top of her head and it's easy to put back on but let me know what you think do you think she looks better with it or without it I mean I think hair probably needs a little bit of a restyle at the top because it's a little messy I did kind of tighten up the hairband as well to like lift it, give it a bit of lift but I think she's really pretty I really like her and it's really strange because I've opened quite a few of those ones lately and it's like wow, her, her arms are really thin because them ones have got such thick bodies and it's really nice to open one of the old ones because I don't know about you, but I prefer the old ones. They have so much more detail, they come with so much more things. I prefer the, the way they look, you know. I mean, they're cute, but I don't like them as much. I much prefer the old versions. The movie looks good, though, I've got to say. Um, the movie does look really good, but I don't know. I'm not that keen on some of the dolls. They're nice. I mean, they're, they're very different. I still prefer the older dolls. They're definitely um, my favourite, I would say. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think of Batsy. Um, if you prefer with the thing on her head or without it. Um, if you miss the accessories that these dolls used to come with with the new dolls, like if you bought any of the new dolls, do you miss the um, extra bits you get with them? Do you, um, what do you prefer? Do you prefer the new dolls or the old dolls? I mean, some people really like the uh, new dolls. Some people really like the old dolls and some people really hate the new dolls. You know, and I mean, that's their preference. You know, everyone has their own opinion on these things. I mean, I'm kind of in between, you know. I, I love the old dolls, but I do like the new dolls as well. You know, I'm kind of in between, but I probably won't collect as many of the new dolls as I will the old because I still prefer the old. But I do like the new ones as well, but <clears throat> I think it helps if you like Ever After High um, with the new dolls because they are more like, as you can see, like Frankie standing next to Apple there. Um, they're more cutesy and the ever after high you know very prince they're princessy and girly and pretty and you know so I think it helps if you like them to like these as well but if you really don't like the ever after high you're probably gonna have a hard time liking the monster high the new ones you know um, I mean I still like the old monster high obviously I prefer it but I love the minis though Right, I've got Cleo back there. The Monster High Minis, I think they're really nice, and we'll definitely be getting some of those. But we never had them before, you see, so there's nothing to compare, as far as I can remember. Um, we've got the Mega Blocks, which I love. I love the Mega Blocks. Um, I don't know if they're going to be doing any more of them. Well, they probably will, actually. They might look a bit different, though. But yeah, I'll definitely be getting more of the Minis, and I will be getting um, when they bring out a signature Cleo and a signature Laguna, signature Claudine, I'll be getting those um, because I just want to get the originals but I probably won't go crazy and get all of them and um, I, sh I was going to get Cleo but kind of struggled to get hold of her because I've got some of the numbers are a bit mixed up so I ended up with another Claudine <laughs> 
Um, so I took her back. I didn't have a Clio. So uh, I got Betsy because I had a Betsy before, but there was something wrong with her, so I had to take her back. I didn't have her when I went back to get her, so I had to um, get something else. And then this time I went in there and they had Betsy. So I got Betsy again. <laughs> so this is the second time I've got Betsy and she's perfect. <laughs> So I'm really glad I've got one that hasn't got anything wrong with her, which is really cool. And she's beautiful. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put her, but I probably will be taking her wings off because, you know, it'll be easier to, if I'm going to set her down somewhere. <laughs> yeah, so I just thought I'd give you, like, tell you a bit about what I think of the, the reboot dolls and that. Like I said, I know um, a lot of people really don't like them, but I mean, yeah, I don't mind them, and I will be, I would be buying more, but probably not as I'd probably rather if I had the choice between buying an older, like say an older Claudine, like the School's Out Claudine, I'd love to get that one. If that one popped up or the signature Claudine, and I had a choice, I would go for the School's Out Claudine because I prefer the older ones, if you know what I mean. But um, like if the new ones were on offer or something, I would I would go for it, you know, because why not? But I did get um I actually did get uh, Claudine and Draculaura and the other Frankie all on offer. They were all reduced price dolls. The only ones I paid full price for were Laguna, the signature Draculaura and the signature Frankie. So three of them I have got reduced price. Oh, and the uh, Monica and Dracula, I got that £10 off as well. So most of the reboot dolls I've bought, I've actually got them. I haven't paid full price for them. I've only paid full price for three of the dolls. And I have eight of them. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Hang on, I'm trying to think. I've bought, yeah, I've bought eight, but I've actually bought seven. Yeah, I've bought seven sets. So, five, so out of eight, I've yeah, so I've only paid full price for two of the seven. So, yeah, five of them I've got reduced price, which is really good. So, yeah, I haven't paid full price for many of them, to be honest. Because I think they're, maybe they're reducing them a little bit to try and get people to buy them. Because obviously they're different. Um, and you know there's going to be a lot of new people thinking, Oh I want to get a Monster High doll now. And the parents will be like, Oh they're reduced. Yeah alright then. <laughs> get them into them, you know. I mean I think they're, they're nice, they're cute. I think the Frankie's really cute. and They're all really cute. They're pretty, they're nice to look at. But... I just, I don't know, I just still prefer these ones. There's more creativity gone into them as far as I, what I think anyway. I think that's the main thing, it's not even their faces, it's the, it's the creativity. They're not as creative looking, there's not as much crea creativity gone into them. And there's less accessories and I think that's what it is. You know, I mean it is their faces as well but that is probably more to do with that but I do think it's good that their bodies are stronger because a lot of the time um, some of the girls dolls and um, their legs have broken off the operator's head her arm and spectra both two of their spectra's legs have broken off and one of their lagunas so um, yeah and some of, like I said some of the arms so having the stronger bodies will hopefully mean that they'll be more sturdy for younger children so that's a good thing well we'll see only time will tell <laughs> but um yeah sorry i've been rambling on about all this but um hopefully you've enjoyed it or if you stayed to this long in the video <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna go now anyway so yeah let me know what you think of uh, batsy and if you've uh with it or without it or you can kind of put it slanted on her head <laughs> okay then everyone comment like and subscribe bye